Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the show that can chew bubblegum and kick your ass at the same time while dancing la salsa. That's right. You're listening to the Bruce Montalvo Show. Yo, what's up, Bruce? Yo, it's Jaja. Sometimes he forgets about me. It's okay. Yes, he can chew gum and speak and fart at the same time. No, no, no. I dance la salsa. You dance la salsa and you eat salsa. That's racist because I'm Mexican. Yeah, something that I just fought all the time, which is true. You know, once I... There's pinto beans. There's just so many beans out here. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. Anyway, this isn't going to be a stinky show, folks. We promise No, 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 no. Because we're broadcasting live from the epicenter of Of cool... York. ...where they live, folks. This is the Bruce Montalvo Show. Jaja says hello, as she usually does. But it is May 13th, 2016, and it's Friday the 13th. Yeah, I think the only people celebrating that are the Masons lighting candles the minute we woke up, right? Hmm. You know, that's kind of like an oxymoron, if you ask me. I don't, I don't really see Friday the 13th as a holiday that they would celebrate. I mean, they were burnt to death. King Philip basically disbanded the order, which is the Knights Templar. This was in uh, 1312. Disbanded the order. He burned Jackus de Molay. Yeah, you know, but you the know, society burned them at the stake. They accused them of pedophilia, and they continue today. Your bankers are your Templars. They should start a bank called Banco Banco Templar in like Mexico or something. Yeah, you know, but they um, it's just how they are. You know, what I'm saying they the same way that they say that the Jews celebrated the Holocaust is that's like a Holocaust, like we're supposed to celebrate it. We could say no, that no, the, the Masons Mas- are out for revenge. That's why you see it every time in the Jason Voorhees movies. It's like, shh, 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 shh. It's over there killing bitches. You know, because he's enacting the Masons' revenge on Friday the 13th. I see. Friday the 13th. That's right. Midnight Freemasons. You can read about it. I see it right here. What? <laughs> it says, yeah, Friday the 13th by Midnight Freemason. You talk about... Uh, yeah, the Templars and the um, Hugues de Payens and yeah, 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 all that with the Jerusalem Order and the Al Asmas. That's right. Anyway, a reminder, a reminder to listen to us on on iTunes, folks. The Bruce Montalvo Show on iTunes, and thank you for those of you tuning in on Talk Stream Live. That's right. And what's trending on our Talk Stream Live page? I'm looking at our Talk Stream Live page and AIDS. Hillary Clinton and the Yankees are trending on my page right now. Mm. AIDS is trending on my page. Well, yeah, that, I don't know. That's what Hillary Clinton's going to give to the American people when the queen elects her president is AIDS. Well, you know, that that's, sounds about right, though. She would be running on that issue because given the fact that she is herself as part of the LGBT community... Um, I'm sure, and and the fact that all of her shills were running that were all LGBT provocateurs, you know, covering for her like the court, the court jesters they are, like Marco Rubio and the the penguin, the, the, yeah, the phone boy, yeah, 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 right, yeah. and all these freakos, you know, she's got uh, running around her, but they're all like obviously gay, and so is no, she. No, no, but you know what? It's more than just gay, okay? Because this show is titled. They live alien politicians among us. It's more than just foam and Marco Rubio. It's an actual just cabal, a, a combine of reptilians maybe running it all. Mm. Yeah, just look at Las, uh, Las Cruz's face, man. That He looks like a reptile. He looks like a turtle, actually. <laughs> like one of those, um, he looks like that weird beaky bird. That one, I don't know. You, you see it in like, you know, like. Look, Disney I could have sworn. I could have sworn I saw Donald Trump's eye shape shift the other day, and Hillary does it every time she's lying, which is every time she's up on the podium. Oh. I mean, seriously, did you hear her the other day? Did you hear the the just rampant lies that she's spewing? They asked her. Uh, one of the info whores reporters asked her if she if she knew anything about the Benghazi case and whatnot, and she she just downright lied. What'd she say? I think you heard it. What'd she say? Last week, 
it was reported on Infowars.com that your email server was hacked and you knowingly continued to use your email server. Can you comment on that? Yeah, it's totally untrue. Okay. Totally untrue. Thanks, guys. Totally untrue. And then some Romanian guy hacked this bitch. I'm telling you, she's getting orders from some alien elite combine somewhere else. Maybe in Pleiades, some Nazi planet somewhere. Bruce Montello, I don't believe any of this stuff. I don't even believe that she had anything to do with the emails. I don't even think her emails were that important. I think that it's a cover for the Pentagon. Oh, embezzling weapons isn't well, uh, important? Uh, 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 I believe that there was... Whacking Gaddafi to institute oh, the gold dino. Yeah, I'm sure Hillary had time for that while she's trying to fit in her suits, get her hair done, get her nails done... Get on the plane and, and, and possibly get dressed to be on the plane for appearances. Remember her speech. Yeah, I'm sure she has time to make those decisions, Bruce. Now, the question really is, she those emails probably did not even exist on her, whatever it was, server, uh, computer, iPhone, whatever the fuck existed on her emails. It has no concern to me. I'll tell you why. Because at the end of the day, it is a... Total blackout, whitewash of the real truth. The real truth is being, that's right. It's no, being the real white, truth is on the emails. The real truth is on those emails. That's why she's pussyfooting around them, no. talking about she'd rather expose Area 51 and UFO crap when it's basically just the Nazis reverse engineering anything. Bruce. So she is just covering that up. Bruce, listen. Plain and simple. This woman is a complete... Patsy and facade. You are being, you're convincing yourself that just because they say that there was stuff on her emails, did you see the emails? No. Did we see the emails? No. How can you be so sure that there was, there was stuff on the emails that could indicate or indict her to or attribute her to that situation? In fact, I think it's a, I think it's a whole white out, whitewash blackout of the real truth and the real provocateurs. The original provocateurs in that situation were Betrayus. You know, what happened? All those, all the motherfuckers is off the hook now? You know, hold up. All of them's off the hook, Susan Rice. All, it's all Hillary's emails. Look, you all you, you, wait, listen to me. All you have to do is say Benghazi and this woman, like, shrieks in horror. Yeah, but that's part of her act. She's a, she's supposed Look, to take I know. The calm blame. down. Calm down. Look, she's I, I know. I know that she's. You think she made these decisions? Listen to me. I know. I know that she's a puppet, and there's a higher power that's basically pretty much running the show, folks. And like I said, this show, I'm going to expose the secret alien combine, whether my colleague over here likes it or not. The combine that's giving Hillary and Trump orders. Yes, I'm not saying that she is. La main enchilada, folks. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that she's vile scum and she disgusts me. Every time I hear her on air, she disgusts me. I feel like just like puking all over the microphone, just regurgitating what I just had for lunch, folks, which wasn't some greasy MSG Chinese shit because I'm not eating that over here anymore. We're not eating that over here anymore. As a matter of fact, why am I still in New York? I mean, there's a nuclear meltdown in Indian Point. And I'm still here. What am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? Bigfoot on ice? Is yes. that what I'm waiting for? I'm yes. waiting for Bigfoot on ice. I mean, I, we're still here. It's New York. It's yeah. all your fault. Yeah, that's right, Bruce. You have to say goodbye to New York. And I'm sure that the Gotham series will expound upon it in their own disturbed way. You know, their vampiric way, their succubus ways of presenting the actual truth of the situation that we're all going, we're getting... No, we're all going to hell. I that's smelled what, the water last happening. night again. We're out of here. Don't that's why I'm it. telling you that there's got to be some alien elite combine giving people orders because they don't act human and all they do is kill humans. Everywhere. Nuclear spill here, nuclear spill there. I mean, what's going on? I mean, have you ever heard of the Griotta Treaty, first and foremost? Okay, the Griotta Treaty, now for those of you who haven't heard, folks, is basically took place under Dwight D. Eisenhower, and he supposedly met with greys and reptilians at Palm Springs, California. And that is part of the alien shadow government combine that tells Trump and Hillary what to do. Some people think that. 
Yeah, yeah. They call them crackpots and nut jobs. Yeah, and I, they I, say they're criminally or psychotic in, insane. <laughs> what do you think? I think that's a cover story. I think aliens are Aryans. Okay, ancient Ali- Aryans are what are Aryan, you know, like ancient Aryans. So it's just a bunch of Nazis that escaped through Operation Paperclip putting on little green men masks. Well, prior... And flying little Nazi UFO kites. Prior to... Prior to Operation Paperclip, the Nazis were notorious for uh, dealing with not only the occult, but UFO technology and Nazi uh, UFO propaganda, especially. And their whole ideology was to propagate uh, some kind of a fear amongst their own people and tell them stories whether real or not, at least to, and also not just for themselves, their own people, to keep their own people in fear, but also to compete with the Russians, at least on paper, and the Americans. So it was their way of kind of um, lifting up the image or giving a sense of mystery to the Nazis. Yeah, but how did did they get their technology? They stole it. Okay, they... No, no, no. First of all, it was reverse engineered from somewhere, something, some otherworldly technology. Where did Tesla get his technology? They say they got... They say that he got it from Venus or something like that. I don't know. That just sounds plain nutty right now. You're talking about ancient motherfucking Aryans being aliens and real aliens, and I'm telling you that Tesla, on paper, it says it, that they that he attributes his family to be from Venus, and that's why he was given that information. You no, know, they never mentioned Tesla. They always mention other assholes like Edison, but never Tesla. When almost everything in your house, if it wasn't for Tesla, you wouldn't have it. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even be on radio right now if it wasn't for Nikola Tesla. I know. But then they also reverse engineered his studies and used them for evil, for silent weapons of war, pretty much like Hart. I mean, but that's what we're going to expose tonight, folks. The criminal, almost alien Nazi cabal. This combine that rules supreme over humanity. And their plans. I'm mentioning Indian Point. Basically, the apocalypse here in NYC. Their plans for revenge on humanity, folks. As we sleep and they live. And that's why the title of this broadcast is... They live alien politicians among us exposed. What do you think of that title right there? Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's very true. I want to remind you that you can listen to us on iTunes now. Leave that iTunes. So go to the Bruce Montalvo Show on iTunes, and you can listen to us there. Listen to us on Stitcher. And, of course, Spreaker and Talk Stream Live Fridays, 9 p.m. Eastern. And it's definitely true. Because I'm almost convinced, Jaja, I'm almost convinced that the politicians we see on TV today are either clones or reptilians. Um, I mean, just look at little Kim. Oh, yeah. That's what a- the hell happened there? You know, you got a really good point there. I mean, I, I love little Kim. I've been a fan of hers. I'm, obviously, there hasn't been anything new at all, unlike uh, your boy, uh, uh, what's his face, um, motherfucking Tupac and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he came out with, like, mad stuff after he supposedly died. But little Kim supposedly is alive. Oh, that's and- not a clone. That's a hologram. Yeah. And if you go to Exposed News on YouTube, you see we got a video where we're doing some research, and we believe that his mother faked her death to be with her son on Mother's Day. Because that's right. Tupac is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. Machiavelli. Killuminati. That's so true. Shot it. It's true. It's true. It's true. He went to Cuba. But, um... Cuba. Yeah, Cuba. Anyway, that's very cool. Um, very cool. Everybody follows their patterns now that the Cubano borders are up. Uh, you know, she's just running over there to get, give him his pay stubs. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's one new story. But I mentioned Lil' Kim. I wanted you to Yeah, yeah, I'm going back that. to that. No, I'm saying I'm going back to that. And I wanted to say that it's been very bizarre how she supposedly, you know, it does connect to Cuba in a very interesting way. You know, she goes through these, like, facial transformations. And, and you know, at first it was a little bit normal. 
and now it's just, it's weird. But I have to tell you that when I went to see her a few years ago, like, she never showed up. Like, we paid for tickets, and, and that was it. Like, she got her money back, you know? Like, that bitch didn't show up. I was like, bummer. So, I mean, she could easily have body doubles like they do, like Fidel Castro had. You know, you had, like, 22 body doubles. So, like, she could have easily had them. But, because there seems to be a lot of weird pictures of little Kim that have nothing to do with her, even on a bad facelift day. There's no way it could be her. And they look like either the body, her body doubles. For some reason, maybe she doesn't want to make get paid and she gives them, a you know, a little bit of cash. Or, you know, with her approval, maybe, uh, maybe, but who knows? I mean, is she really around? I mean, I'd like to see her fucking real face, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, show up because, uh, but then again, there was a photograph of her that really kind of looked like her. It was her face. It was her. And she was jive fucking enormous. So she could, in theory, have blown up to the size of a, you know, well, she was eating all those. She was eating all those yodels and Yankee Doodles and Ding Dongs. Maybe. Watching she, Oprah. Maybe she got hold of those Twinkies, you know. She was like, you know, to do with them. The ones she, with the glitter on the inside? Yeah, yeah. The, the oh, ones, man. The last ones. The last Twinkies. Or maybe the nuclear meltdown here by way of Indian Point killed her. I don't know. Uh, really, folks, I don't know. We're looking at real estate right now. But the thing is, I mean, New York City, I mean, it's... We're still holding it down here in New York City, folks. We're here in BK. We're still Brooklyn soldiers for life. But Indian Point is really changing that, isn't it? Yeah, when the water smells like freaking garbage. You and smelt like, the water today. You were very alarmed. Yeah, it was scary. You know, I'm, I'm one foot out the door. This place sucks. And sorry if you own real estate here, but if you're listening to me now, you should get a good deal and, like, sell, sell. But if you... um are not listening to me and you don't know shit, then you just don't know shit and you ain't in the know and those who listen to us is in the know and you just be glad that you know Bruce and Jaja. And if you want more proof that we are being run by a reptilian, oligarchical, <laughs> Anglo world order, there you have it, folks. I mean, look, we're talking about little Kim being cloned. I mean, don't think... That I forgot about Kim Jong Dong over there in North Korea raising hell. Is that really even Kim Jong Dong? I mean, no, he could be a clone. I was also. watching the interview. Could be clone. We also. watched the interview, and besides Eminem coming out and saying he's he was gay, which is a lie, a joke. It's a joke. They killed Kim Jong Dong in that movie. Mm-hmm. So what's not to say that this cheese eating guy that went missing that they're calling Kim Jong Dong is Kim Jong Dong if they could just whack little Kim. And all these stars got to be faking their deaths like Prince and Tupac and, you know, running around trying to get their greatest hits. I swear, I think they're giving people ideas like Snoop Dogg. I think that guy Snoop Dogg is going to try to fake his death like next year. Probably maybe even Ozzy Osbourne's planning it right now. Remember he went missing? Yeah, Ozzy, that thing sounded really weird too. First of all, if I was Ozzy, I would have divorced that bitch of a wife he had a long time ago. I tell you, I tell you. What was it, Metal Fest or Oz Fest? That bitch went and pulled the plug on an Iron Maiden set? I mean, what a cunt. What the fuck? The more proof that reptilians run the world, folks. <laughs> well, you got nuclear meltdowns. You got reptilian bitches killing Ozzy off. I mean, you got Kim Jong Dong running shit. I mean, it's, it's insanity. And I told you guys earlier, just Google it up, the Griotta Treaty. Oh, yeah, that crazy old Bruce. Oh, psychotic Bruce. That's right. But, really, the Griotta Treaty will explain the whole reptilian thing. And with that, here is the top of the hour news on the Bruce Montalvo Show. Uh, Speaking of reptilians, Trump says he wants the Fed to print more money. Yeah, that's a pretty... That, I don't know how Alex Jones could get behind that motherfucker now. You put your They Live glasses on, and you will see that both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are alien reptilians. Okay, but what about um, Ron Paul, who, like, totally... Who Donald Donald uh, Paul or Ronald Trump or whatever the hell... They, they, like, 
did the fusion dance. So now. why is one? Little... Yeah, he's a big fucking hypocrite now too. That right. lab that cheated right. He's the cultures. he's the biggest hypocrite because Ron Paul was the one that was in my cousin Aaron Russo's movie and look, Freedom to Fascism, absolutely. all about the fact that they're feds of feds over printing money. He was talking about that shit with my cousin, and then the nigga goes around and like sides with a with another mother like the Trumpster and shit. This is a joke, you know. It's just the truth. how could it's anybody? A, it's a fucking joke. How could anybody it's buy into the Trump scam? And and here's the thing, folks. I mean, to quote even Ron Paul himself, because they, they love to tell you the truth. The occultists that, that are in the know, they love to tell you what's going on. There's, That's true. There's really no, unequivocally, there's no difference between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. No. I mean, they're both for the military-industrial complex, and as I just stated, they're both for the Fed. Their slogans both print the money. They're probably both bankrolled by the Bushes and Goldman Sachs. Okay, but they are different, you know, and the thing is, is that as a, if I was looking at the um, political, if I was like an alien from out of space, now I'm going to put myself in, you know, they have bird's eyes views, I'm mm. going to be an alien's point, point of view, and I am going to see what, what's going on in the realm of the world leaders, and right now in the world leaders, we have Merkel on the right, we have Dilma on the left, and whoever the fuck else, and if I was in the World Olympics and trying to pick the best female to pick the job of the, be the American World Olympics, I probably would see um, very easily uh, Hillary Clinton in this particular... Hillary no. Clinton is going to win the Nazi it's gold so in obvious. these Olympics you're talking about. Let me tell you something. Just like WWE, there's no difference between the Hillary Clinton-Donald Trump matchup. They're going up against each other just like a Vince McMahon wrestling match. They claim to be against each other, but they're telling each other what moves going to come next and you know how hard they're going to hit each other. They know exactly how hard they're going to hit each other. It's a ruse. It's a sham. It's a hoax. These people, I mean, Trump is just going to tap out Hillary like like the bad guy. Like the bad guy versus the good guy theme that the WWE portrays. That's what you have. That's why Donald Trump is being bank, bankrolled by Vince McMahon. You saw that article on the Washington Post. Vince McMahon's paying for all of Donald Trump's Wait charity. a second. My cousin is also... He's on, there as well. Please, He's on there as well. Please, Richie Ebers. Please, Richie Ebers. His name is all Vince over there. Vince had the too. biggest amount of, uh, of donations. And that's a Jewish guy. More proof <laughs> that reptilians run the Illuminati, folks. I mean, just look at Trump. Just look at Trump. Go to Exposed News. We got a video up there of him shape shifting and shit. I'm serious. Just look at it. His eye like does like this lizard slit. I'm telling <laughs> you. I'm telling you. And. And here's another thing. He's just tired, Bruce. Here's Come another on, thing. Man. Here's He's another so thing. Silly. Here's another thing. In uh, JFK, if you ever watch JFK. I think it's in, in JFK, Kevin Bacon says that fascism's coming back. Well, you know what? That That's right. Because it's coming back. And it's coming back with Donald Trump. He's getting all the bigots riled up. Seriously. All of them. With the help of people like freaking Bill Hicks over there in Stratford, Texas. I mean, that guy is just disgusting. He's disgusting. Anytime there's some pro-Nazi or anti-Nazi expression in art where people are going up against this uh, Nazi expression he's in right the media, he, it. he's trying to defend it. I mean, well, this guy is just one straight jacket sure. away from the loony bin. I agree with you. He's completely out of his mind. He hops on everything. He's part of the whole spy network. He's probably going insane right now. Anyway, you know, I think I saw his. I th I think I saw his his eye change like a reptilian. Really? Yeah. Well, he's losing a lot of hair, isn't he? Anyway, in more top of the hour news, folks. <laughs> uh, Puto, I mean Putin, has stated that the queen is not human. You hear that? Why is that, Putin? Because she bathes and drinks in human bl blood? I can't even say it. Because it's just so macabre. Because she bathes and drinks human blood. Prove that statement. And I'd like to see it. What are you, Ozzy Osbourne? Stop having psychosexual fantasies about the fucking Queen Dear of Perverts. Dear God. Fucking masochistic, sadistic, 
first Marquis of all, she, she, freak that, why are you thinking about that shit? What are you, something. like Lady Gaga queen or something? Is, I, don't, I don't understand Speaking what's of wrong with Lady you. Gaga, like I'm, like I was saying, the queen invites her over to, on Beltane and they shake, you know, they do the Masonic handshake. Yeah, it's She's just for you. She's wearing some type of black robe. I've seen that. They do that just for people like you. They're probably going bathe in blood afterwards. They do, yeah. That I would like to see. And that you'd have to prove happens. And that maybe is wait, waiting for your George Romero's fucking movie and shit. Well, those are Give good movies, right? Like, no, that guy's know. dead, I think. Mm-hmm. Anyway, folks. More top of the hour news. Uh, Obama is going on some apology tour. He's all over the place. Apparently apologizing for uh, dropping the bomb on Hiroshima and <laughs> Nagasaki. <laughs> believe that? You believe this guy? Yeah. I mean, these most of these politicians are encouraged to lie more than Henry Rollins, I think. I mean, he's going out there. First of all, he thinks he's some type of point guard in the NBA. Obama does. He's they're dropping bombs downtown. Uh, freaking drones and shit. <laughs> Boom shakalaka. I said, oh, what a tough guy. Right, him and his fucking drones and his fucking kill list. What a fucking tough guy. Right? And now he's going around, and whether you libtards like it or not, folks, he's going around and apologizing for America. First of all, first of all, a few people don't remember. America saved the world. But they saved people's lives in World War Two. Right? The Jews who've been slaughtered, always slaughtered by the powers that be. Okay? They're being slaughtered by the Nazi Jesuits. And yes, America even saved the lives of the Nazis themselves. Right? So why does Obama have to apologize for dropping bombs? I don't get it. I mean, to Americanize is to drop bombs. So Obama is now going around and dropping apologies. He's on this tour to destroy American exceptionalism. That's the only way I can see it. Yeah, well, I think that it's just, again, the New World Order making him feel like a herb. Fucking walking around taking apologies and shit for something he had no motherfucking anything to do with. I think it's the New World Order just trying to destroy America's image. I yeah. Mean, I mean, maybe the Japs deserved it. I mean, did you ever think about that? But FDR knew. That was like the original 9-11. I mean, FDR knew that they were coming. They sunk a couple of the subs that were on the way to Pearl Harbor. Okay? That's why they talked about in the project for a new American century that they needed a new Pearl Harbor event. And the Bush administration came up with 9-11. Okay? But anyway, if you go back, that that's what's going to happen, folks. I mean, Obama's going around apologizing for everybody, giving nukes to Iran. I mean, how's America going to be repaid with? I mean, we're being put in the seat of the ultimate warmonger. We're glad, glad to sit there. Okay? And we're going to be repaid with a nuke. And the whole world's going to cheer. Because America, the warmonger, is now, you know, been eviscerated. Like all those freaking Iran camel toe Khamenei's are, are saying. We need a good image. And, that, and let me tell you something, Bruce. Uh, whether you like it or any other motherfucking stupid ass American does not like it. People like in the external foreign world, aside from our egocentric, centrifugal uh, world narrative... People liked Barack Obama. Whether you like it or not. How about liking world... America? America went and rebuilt Japan after Hiroshima and Nagasaki, but they still want him to apologize for it? I mean, I don't want to sound like a about, neocon I'm there. I'm talking about the presidency. And I don't think it was necessary either, but I mean, apologize? It just makes America look like a pussy. Weak or something. But you know, and it's true that, that, but in terms of the image of America, like, the Bushes fucking ruined us. Like, I would travel a lot. You mean the Sharfs? The yeah. Nazi Illuminati bloodline Sharfs that started the CIA? Yeah. Yes. They yeah. hate... They, they, I would always get people go, Ew, you're from America? Ugh. It was like, Ugh. And let me tell you something. As soon as Barack Obama started getting elected, they were like, Oh, we love America. And be like, That was by design to galvanize all the now stupefied Black Lives Matter commies. I'm talking... To galvanize them. Excuse me, Bruce. I'm talking about when I travel... All right, when I've traveled, and these, and then for one point, they're making fun of, of Americans, like in Brazil when I was going there before, and then when Barack got uh, uh, 
president, his presidency, you know, I was getting people like America in Europe, you know, the French liked, you know, everybody liked us a lot better. And it's true that we have to worry about our world image. And there's no way a motherfucker, <clears throat> excuse me, like Donald Trump could ever hold the title of giving our self-respecting uh, leader, a leader, not, not leaders, to me, they're just spokesperson for, spokespeople for the tyranny that we're fucking under. Look, he's running to be comedian in chief. Yeah, exactly. Nothing more, nothing less. And if there's one thing that Obama has been successful in the new American Reich of today is to make America be at war with the individual. Make America hate again. That's right. Yeah, that's... Because, and another thing that Trump... There's no reason to make America great again. American exceptionalism is the reason that America is great. And yeah. that is the, the very thing that the New World Order and the social engineers that I believe are reptilians from Pleiades, from some Nazi planet in Pleiades, have in store for humanity. Yeah, but the fact is, is that make America hate again would mean if Donald Trump was the presidency, the world would motherfucker hate us again because that guy has no respect... He doesn't know how to treat people. He is disgusting, uh, vile, like, you know, he's totally like a, a wrestler. And that's fine. It is a place for Well, he clotheslined Vince. You ever see that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Clotheslined the shit that's out of him. That's cool. He's fine for that. But you can't expect you can't expect a European person to respect that and give and think that he's classy and end up at a meal. He'd end up like, what is he going to do? Have like a fight with Vicente Fox? You know, that's the funny thing. Do you a mentioned, flip? You mentioned that's Vicente Fox and... What makes Vicente Fox think that he can go toe-to-toe with Trump? I mean, I saw him flipping the bird to Trump, and he looked like a very effeminate man. He looked like a fruitcake. He looked Vicente like Mengele to me. And you put the pictures together, Nazi pop celebrity lookalike.com. <laughs> Don't make up. No, that's he's not Trump. No, just go to my Facebook. That's what it is. Her Facebook is Nazi celebrity lookalike.com. <laughs> Have you ever seen that thing? Anyway, Why does what makes look what makes what makes Vicente Fox think he can go toe to toe with Trump? I mean, seriously. I mean, Vince is on steroids, and this fool Vicente Fox is an idiot. He's like, oh, in Mexico we are a chiquito pero picoso. Uh, freaking Trump will Trump will clothesline the shit out of that guy. You believe he said that that they're gonna go to war? Mexico's gonna go to war? With the United States, I mean, first of all, if you play the Call of Duty games, you see that the military constantly invades Mexico, and they're even like across the border destroying shit. I mean, and NATO has basically stated that Mexico is part of the homeland, so it's like the United States. That's why there is no borders, folks. It's all part of the North American Union. So what what you saying about the North El Paso? American it's Reptilian Union. Juarez and El Paso are the same, you're saying. It's just like a little line, but the military's not allowed to go over there. But. Look, you're not allowed to have a white picket fence. You're not allowed to have a border. You don't have a country. It's de facto. It's null and void. It doesn't exist. And the reptilians are out to get you. And Donald Trump is a freaking orange cock stain. How's that? And now, for the top of the hour news... We're going back to Indian Point. That's right. We're truly experiencing the end here in NYC. This is the end. Beautiful friend. That's right. New NYC, this is the end. Because, look, folks, it's, it's the apocalypse here. Okay? And no one cares. No one cares. No one seems to notice. No one cares. I mean, you have... A nuclear fucking reactor leaking tritium and shit, leaking thousands of gallons of nuclear waste into the Hudson, and no one cares. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get a New York. It's game here. over. I'm t- you know, you and the can't... NWO has gone mad. Yeah, they, you can't get anybody to wake up. They'll freaking drink it. They'll, if you tell them that it's nuke water, just put it in a bottle and fucking put a cool little graffiti label in it. Well, uh, nuke, say that it's smart water. Soda. No, no, no. Like it's, no, no, forget smart I don't water. No, no, no. That shit. Smart no, 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 water. no, no, no. Straight up, call it nuked water. Put an atomic bomb on the graphics label. You know, no, still won't motherfuckers will still drink it. What about that bread that we saw? It said killer bread, but it was organic. Okay, now 
if if some label decides to go, ah, we know how to get around the organic labeling and still kill you, just like Trader Joe's, right? In their freaking games, but they get they get the yeah, those Nazi bastards, right? The Albrechts, and then they get the the labeling, right? Like that company Pacific, which always gives me the itches. They say they're organic, but I don't fucking believe them, you know. And then they get their killer bread. They call it. Like Dave's Killer Bread, I didn't even try it, but it had some cool like cartoon. Would they like pay you off or something? Beavis and Butthead, some drawing. It's got on some it. guy that looks like Hitler, not Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, what yeah, are you he looks like Hitler. Look, it's truly mind-boggling. Wait, he looks how like gullible, Mangala. how gullible the sheeple in New York really are. That they'll they'll be giving them this toxic loaf of bread with GMO and shit in it, and they'll just say, "Oh, it's organic," but the sheeple will still buy it. They'll still drink the nuked water. They'll still live. Here. Bottle it up and give it to them, and they'll make money off of it too. And they'll go nuked water. Mmm, new thing! Yeah! Look, look, folks. This next, this next cool. comment, this How next comment evil. here might even shock or, or offend you. Okay, but here's the thing. Uh, you know, I'm walking around and I see like the poetry in motion, okay? And, and I'm saying this because. Near near a park, near Brooklyn Museum, I saw a father taking his child, you know, to the park. And it was overlooking the aura of a giant eye of Horus. <laughs> yes. You believe that? We're on our way to the Brooklyn Museum, and there, were, there was this father taking his kid to the park, and there was this giant eyeball looking at him. And then I looked at the kid's shirt, and he had a little atomic energy symbol that kind of looked like the Baphomet on it. So I was like, dear God, this... The energy around New York is just like Obama saying that Manhattan's going to get nuked any minute. You got Indian Point leaking. I mean, it literally feels like the apocalypse here, like escape New York or something. Well, that's because you have your um, they they live glasses on, Bruce. A lot of people don't realize it. They just think it's the construction that's causing the asbestos in the film and the disgustingness everywhere, and and that ends up on your everywhere all the time you know the dust and the dirt no matter and that's the thing look i saw i literally saw the power of satan being commercialized on that little kid's shirt as the father was walking into the park to have the eye of horse looking at him in nuke york i mean i'm telling you it's it's deep folks it's deep i mean it's it's downright i mean it's satanic i mean to put it into perspective i mean the new world order is shamelessly marketing to our children Right, and while possessing the power to drop rods from outer space or detonate atomic bomb, you know, they're putting it right on his little shirt. Yeah, they don't really care. At the end of the day, they want to. They want people to uh, to be dumbed down and and entertained. And here's the thing: look, the art here in New York is downright satanic and, and macabre. I mean, the other day I saw. Headless children jumping rope in the apocalypse. I mean, what mm-hmm. was that? Like a an installment at the Brooklyn Museum? Right. Yeah, it was probably... I mean, what are they trying to tell Af- us? What are they trying to Af- tell us? From Africa, there was, they did like a show of modernist, modern contemporary African artists. And it was, it was really gross. Every single particular artist that they chose had to make some kind of an homage to the Baphomet. And it was just like obvious. Once you see it. Not just that, but... It's weird. You know, the elite are trying to tell us that they're not human. I mean, I'm walking through that exhibit, and I see these Nigerian, like, star child-looking people, or star uh, star god, or star beings. There's all this type of alien Elohim representation, Anunnaki. Or they love that here in Brooklyn, though, be in the, That's the Nigerian's representation of it. That's how I saw it. Yeah, they love that, though, in, in here. You know, don't you remember, like, um, listening to, like, ODB or KRS-One? They always kind of threw it in, or the Jizza. You know, they, they throw that shit in, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's always kind of, like, cool. And you have a lot of guys, like, in the conspiracy world, like Steve Coakley, and you have Professor Griff around here. Steve Coakley may rest in peace. He kind of exposed a lot of that hermetic kind of uh, boule and all kinds of stuff about but forget about that. I mean, the world itself exposes the truth, okay? I mean, did you know they found ancient Egyptian ruins in China? Egyptian ruins in China, I repeat it again. Mm. Pyramids, sphinxes, 
could have been trickster gods, the same trickster gods that went to Egypt. I don't trust that. They are the ones, in my opinion, that are telling Clinton, Trump, and the whole cabal of idiots at the CFR and the Trilateral Commission, all of them, what to do. No. You just look up Griotta Tree. Let, let me tell you something. What are you going to tell, tell you me, something with pro Hillary? Okay. When it comes to art, copying things, and making things look hyper-realistic, go to the Chinese for it. They will. They can fake anything. Okay. Now, when it comes to these are propaganda- ancient ruins that they yeah, uncovered that yeah, the yeah, Chinese yeah, yeah. government has been keeping under wraps in China. Or, or where? look, if you want more evidence, is it in China? Look, naysayer. Is I it believe China? there's a reptilian elite that's out there telling the military-industrial complex what to do. Okay. <laughs> there's ev- there's evidence of this all over the place. I mean, in the ancient world, if you go to Palenque, it's not big if you go to Palenque, if you go to Chichen Itza. Hell, Egyptian hieroglyphics of reptilian overlords. I mean, what do I have to tell you? Do I have to force these fucking glasses onto your eyes so that you can see that they live among us? No, I know they live. I just don't really think that they're aliens. I think they're Aryans. And you, here's the thing. These Aryans that are more than likely aliens, that the Aryans that she's talking about reverse engineer their technology from, okay, these aliens know better than to hang around Earth nowadays, folks. I mean, they don't hang around here for too long because we'll shoot them bastards down. I mean, just look at the Russian Roswell incident. Look at Kapustin Yar, these Russian bases where they design these uh, UFO crop circles to attract UFO so that the Russian government could shoot it down and reverse engineer it. You have also the fact that we, as human beings, now have nukes, folks. We have nukes. American government has nukes. So whatever deal might have gone down between Eisenhower and these so-called reptilians who are the overlords of the greys or whatever deal they had, according to urban legend, I mean, that, that tells you where the military-industrial complex has its power to put up these satellites up in the sky that could just drop a nuke yeah. that could obliterate a city like in G.I. Joe Retaliation. I mean, they reveal it through the revelation of the method, this predictive programming through entertainment. Yeah, they do that all the time. But, and, you know, the eyes is everywhere, so I really believe they're not only spying on us visually, but they're listening in as well. But you don't think these star beings know better than they come to mess with humanity now, given the fact we could have the, the death ray or some type of freaking uh, uh, just nuclear weapons, rods from space, directed energy weapons. In fact, we have all these... All these weapons as humanity. I mean, you don't think that the aliens come through here and then they go through a wormhole and try to just travel as fast as they can without alerting the military-industrial complex? Didn't you say that yourself? That I mean, they're looking for them. They admit it. The military said there's little green men. Didn't you say yourself that the globalists are so ruthless that, they're, that they just don't give a fuck about the world and they, they just constantly destroying it? And it's because they're just bored and they just like spilling things like babies because they think that, you know, it's so un, un, like, like quaint, you know, already. Like everything's just like so gross to them that they need to be like on Mars and like they should like reinvent it and build all our great architecture and cool stuff. Yeah, that's, why, that's why Bill Gates is investing in that doomsday seed ball. That's exactly right. I mean, that's why they trash this planet like they have another one, like they can live on another planet. Mm. And that's what it is. And I think aliens know better than to come around and, and mess with humanity. I mean, there's that treaty that went under Dwight D. Eisenhower, but how in the know I am, uh, I'm not in the know, folks. I'm just a talk show host. If I were in the know, the Majestic 12 would be over here and put a, pot, a cap in my ass, right? You know, no, it's true, it's true. I mean, you have, but you have movies that indicate it, like the movies... That Mars movies with uh, Damien, um, with Matt Damon. That's right, The Martian. Right. So that was, that kind of, it kind of gave me a, a, a thought that maybe they are really sending a lot of people there to live, to experiment. Well, they got over the Van Allen belt, more than likely. I don't know they how figured they, figured that out. I don't know what they did. They went the other way, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's another way, you know what I'm saying? It's maybe never one way. You go around, they, they're using nuclear plasma to actually do that wow. kind of maneuver anyway, and then it's super powered fast, and who knows? I don't know what the fuck. So they got, 
I think that they're sending people there, incubating people to see if they can exist, you know, and try to see what they can do. Maybe they are breeding things over there and planting things, just like he, this. Why does Hollywood tell you anything different? If you go back 20, 30, 40 years of movies, you re- look at that shit, it just, it already happened. Like, they thought they were being cool and predicted it, but well, it's already here. It's the Nazis that are behind the secret space program. It's the Nazis that won World War II. It's the Nazis that are behind Hollywood, and they control the media and the message. They control it all. Okay, and UFOs today, folks, if you see a UFO, chances are 90% of all the UFO sightings you see are Nazi secret space program aircraft. I mean, they're just out there flying their kites. Oh, look at me. I'm flying in my Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Exactly. Look at me. I'm having fun. Yeah, and they go They go to Mount I'm Weather. Drinking, drinking my beers. And Mount Weather, yeah. Mount Weather opens like a clam, motherfucker, like, just like Space Mountain, you know what I'm saying? Like, like a ride. It opens up like a zip, and then, like, they get flying, freaking reverse-engineered uh, UFO technology, probably in Phoenix, and like you said, Roswell area. So they're, and they're looking at the Phoenix lights. They got the right Phoenix now. lights, but they, they, those are like the new space, the space, uh, whatever vehicles they decide to pull out that night because well, the same the Phoenix thing, lights. The same thing with uh, in the path. The same thing with Mount Rushmore. You have Bernie Sanders going over there, and Mount Rushmore is probably a secret alien base. Yeah, exactly. They're just like Fort Knox, they don't got any money at Fort Knox anymore, folks. They got. Reverse engineered Nazi secret space program aircraft in Fort Knox, more than likely. Uh huh. Oh, that's that's true. Like I said, look, if you see a UFO, All more than rumors. likely, more than likely, it's a Nazi secret space program. So it's an identified object now. It's a Nazi identified object. <laughs> that's right. It's a Nazi. So it's like Nisi <laughs> That's what it is now. It's Nifo. not a UFO. It's like a Nifo. Nifo. That's right. Nazi identified. You know, I'm Neo. giving you. Neo. I'm Nazi. giving the people proof here. Neo. It's called Neo. Wasn't that the name of the character from The Matrix? No. Neo. Yes. Yes, it was. And that's exactly what it is. It's a matrix, folks. It's a matrix that these reptilian oligarchs have created here on Earth because, according to the Griotta Treaty, I mean, they're running mankind. Okay? And they're able to experiment on you. That's why I'm wondering, I mean, why are these oligarchs so ruthless? Why are people so invigorated about voting for governance and being governed instead of being leaders themselves? It's because these reptilians are basically psychic vampires. Now, look at Hillary Clinton. She's a vampiric wench. Okay, that's what they are. They're all like that. They're they're sucking the life force from America. That's what I think. I, I mean... I mean, just look at the atrocities the Nazis were able to do. I mean, maybe some metaphysical uh, being took over these people. And it goes back even biblical to the Torah. They mean the Amalek. And if you look at religious art, you even see popes meeting with reptilian beings. There could be some kind of... Even ordaining reptilian beings. And you see UFOs in religious art as well. I mean, it's everywhere. Bruce, there's not a doubt in my mind that there's a secret cabal. And now with that in mind, with the Brotherhood of the Snake, there could be Absolutely. weird practices of, like, you know, um, homages, or maybe there is some linkage, or maybe they believe it's some linkage. But regardless of the fact, everything's ruled by the dollar. Everything, just follow the yellow That's, brick. again, why, that's why the dollar's green itself, folks, because of reptilians run this monetary system. Mm-hmm. I thought it was because it used to be made with, like, like uh, organic, like, substances like hemp and stuff like that. First of all, I'm, I'm probably proving that Nazi David Icke right by talking about reptilians so much on the show. Yeah, I think so. I think we really know that it's... that Even though that is just like an illusion, it's a talking point, it's a narrative. Obviously, it's cute, it's cool, it's comical, it's ironic. I could have it's, sworn I saw Donald Trump's eye shape. He was motherfucking tired and you were looking at video footage, which has... Uh, accidents and incidents and and all kinds of artifacts that happen within the actual footage and the translation of video footage to YouTube or your your internet connection. I mean, there's many very very uh, very factors, you know, to to vary in. So yeah, may, you can't just assume it's just so it's mother. You know, it's everything is tra- if you saw it in real life. 
and then you could say something. But if you didn't see it in real life, then you're just talking shit, and it's just because... not talking shit. I have seen ancient Egyptian architecture going back to China, going back to the Mayans, the Aztecs, and Egyptians that portray some type of reptilian overlord. I mean... In uh, Chichen Itza, Mexico, you have Quetzalcoatl, who is the reptilian snake god that basically they would offer blood sacrifices to this reptilian Yes, I being. know. And it, this, this legend proliferates itself around the globe. I mean, they didn't have faxes back then. They weren't able to give themselves the, the blueprints on how to build pyramids course, in the first it's place. It's very easy to understand. Yet man has this incarnate method, this incarnate just a way of going about and building pyramids okay, within it, it. Excuse me, but man has a way of of always identifying with the animals, okay? And there's animal spirits in art since the primitive times in man, including Gobekli Tepe and all those other motherfucker places and Sumeria. You will see time and time in every... in in Native American, Indian, and, and Mexican, and all kinds of Aztecian, Mayan, whatever it is you're looking at, they're going to have a lot of animal totem worship. You're so right, because the Illuminati incorporates all sorts of cultures. I mean, from African to Indian to Mexican, tribal, they study all the mystery schools, and they learn the knowledge, and they keep it for themselves. Right. I to mean, control people. I mean, yeah. this is dark. Asian also. Scary I mean, magic they use. I mean, look at Qigong. It's, everything is based on the animal spirit. They have the monkey. The monkey does the uh, Qigong or the, 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 the peacock or the pigeon or the eagle and this one and that one. And then every every other um, cultures, they utilize a lot of the Amazonian culture of the taking ayahuasca. They take the drugs and then they get in touch with their animal spirit. The Hawaiians are into the animal spirits. You know, it's just like all normal. So every culture around the world, there's some things that are just intrinsic to man itself. And we are, we see ourselves in relation to the world around us. And we are creative and we do, we can mimic what's around us a lot more than a parrot or, you know, dodo bird, whatever the fuck. We can mimic. Yeah, things. we're gonna go extinct just like the dodo bird if we keep if we keep mimicking what the new world order keeps telling us is trendy. Yeah. I mean, have you seen some of these libtard cities that the new world order sets up? These agenda twenty one cities. I mean, they're literally flesh eating zombies that live there. I mean, they are just they'll eat your flesh if you're not politically correct more than likely. Probably if you're not if you piss. I know like. These some leases in Switzerland probably is going to end up that way. That if you if you're a man, you can't you can't stand up and pee in your own toilet bowl at night after nine thirty. It's it says in your lease that you have to sit down on the toilet, and this is in Zurich. You have to sit down on your toilet and take a piss after eleven nine thirty at night, but after eleven o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. You, you get, like, a fine and shit. Oh, we heard you pissing. That's how thin the goddamn walls are over there. And then they, they, they force it, too. It's in the lease. Wow. So those Nazi bastards over there are literally deballing their citizens. Yeah, well, it starts over there. I mean, Telling them when and how and where they can piss. Wow, that's... But meanwhile, they, Again, are, more proof. More proof that we have reptilian overlords, folks. And with that, I'm, I have more proof on the top ten list that we have reptilian overlords. Actually, with this next story, it's my time for my top ten list that I didn't steal from David Letterman, folks. And at number ten, this is just very disturbing, folks. Again, this is a very disturbing news story, uh, you know. It states here, legalizing sexual child abuse, pedophilia now classified as sexual orientation. Do you believe that? And this is going on the same time as Italy is making gay unions civil. So they're trying to legalize pedophilia and gay in the same sense. That's amazing. I really give it to Italy. And at the same time, Obama, the Obama administration is now 
enforcing that they have to tell the children, you know, about transgender bathrooms. So this agenda, this lavender agenda is out of control. I mean, yes, you could be a sexual libertarian of, of sorts and congratulate Italy for uh, being a bunch of fanoics, but at, at the same time, you know, to each his own, right? But at the same time, I mean, I see this agenda. I mean, they attack the children. They're, it's a complete hypersexualization of society, which again leads me to believe that there is some type of reptilian, reptile oligarchy. Yeah, well... I mean, these people are not human. How are you going to legalize child abuse and pedophilia and in the same breath give uh, freaking fruitcakes rights in, in Italy? I mean, this is just beyond me, folks. This well, I really me. give it to Italy for doing that. I'm very proud of them. Yeah, and they're a bunch of fangili amazing. and linguini slurping. They always hated the, the gays. They always hated gays. It's always The Catholic Church has always uh, ruled an iron... An iron Cross. So basically, so basically, really... basically, Vito from The Sopranos is now allowed to uh, gallivant around uh, the, the islands of Sicily with his uh, lover that looks like Rob Halford, more than likely. Anyway, folks, number nine. California government forcibly sterilizing Latina women without their consent. What do you think of that? that that's part of the, the tree of They'll life. The They'll tree of life. Them. The eugenics tree of life that the Nazis are taught about, folks. And here's the thing. I mean, you know, Hollywood always portrays Latina women to be, like, really randy right away. You know, they're like the, the hot, randy little uh, maid that's ready to, like, just give it, give it all, give it all up, right? So, and now you see all these anti-Trump supporters, and they fit, they fit the mold. You know, they fit the mold of a bunch of just... Dumbass dropouts with sharpies for eyebrows, really, and their dumbass dropouts with sharpies for eyebrows turn social justice warriors. And at the same time, you got to watch out because they could even sacrifice your kid on Beltane. Working with these Mexican witches, Mexican occult Jesuit witches that worship the Virgin de Guadalupe. It happens, right? I mean, I mean, this is this is disturbing, folks. I mean, either way around, I mean. I'm a father myself, and I know the tyranny that goes on in California. Trust me, they're a cult over there. They're a sick, disturbing cult, every single one of them. And trust me, it's also in the news that that cult known as California is going to sink into the freaking Pacific Ocean. As soon as that Salton Sea slip fault goes, the, the new Sodom and Gomorrah known as California is going down with it. I mean, just listen to that. California government forcibly sterilizing women. I mean, America came up with eugenics. They're the ones that gave the Nazis the idea for it. But, I mean, are you fucking kidding me? I can't believe it. It sounds, but it's not it just Latino women. Exactly. They're doing it to, to everybody. But you know what it is? They, yeah, they will. They are doing it with the food. That's what a, 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 lot, a lot of the medicines will do to you is forcibly sterilize it. They don't even need to. You, I mean, they don't even need to, like, give you a shot or anything like that, but if you let the government give you a shot, for, that's what that Gardasil shit was, like, kind of sterilizing exactly. some people. So, you know. And again, they force, they force the, the black mothers to take their kid to freaking Planned Parenthood. And now in Planned Parenthood, they're saying, oh, you can come here if you want to be a transgender. We'll help cut your balls off and, and super glue them to your head. Yeah. No, that's where the taxpayers' dollars are actually going to. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible, folks. And with that, we go to number eight. And this is funny. This is funny. The, the LAPD, they think they got jokes. First, if you go over there, they think they can just whoop your ass with like a billy club like Rodney King and shit. Even though Rodney King deserved it because he stole a car. He was high on LSD. He'd just done an armed robbery the night before. So, I mean, I mean, I would know. I, I knew his the, the booking officer. I met the booking officer once. That's a teacher of mine in a criminal justice class. So, I would know. But but this is funny. Here you have the LAPD. They're, uh, the police squad are, they're going around dancing. They just joined Running Man Challenge, and they're going around dancing like, like fruitcake. Like Indians? No, like, uh, like the village people from YMCA. Oh. Huh. Well, you know, they're always looking for something. 
to make a gimmick of. Right, that's one of the it's one of the hashtags we're working with, along with uh, what was it the the Hubble telescope? What's going on with that? That's in the news right now. The Hubble telescope apparently they're able to find more. Uh, there's like a meteor or more debris that that they're looking at. So those two combined right there, I mean, that's that's crazy. I mean, they have a telescope. The Jesuits have a telescope called Lucifer. Yeah, Remember yeah. that one? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty crazy. Sorry about that. Um, all my notes, you know what I'm saying? I have all my notes about Lucifer. You know, and the Nuclefer, you know what I'm saying? I think, do you think nucle- Lu- Lucifer is nuking us? You think the Vatican is... We talked is about just- that earlier. <laughs> Lucifer has scales. He's a reptile in this episode. You see that he's looking at the water... You know, from the Vatican and like seeing Lucifer using the to see everybody get sicker and sicker on the subways. You know what I think about the subways? I think that a couple of years ago they had this test and they they made an announcement. They showed it in the papers. They showed it everywhere on the trains in the subways. They warned everybody that they were doing a silent test of the gas of the air and they were putting something in the air and. You know, they never said that it came and it went, and they never said that they ever stopped. And what's to say them from ever stopping? They can, they've done it time and time again, and maybe they're just adding cancer to the air. I mean, if you just take that train, you know, who knows? Every day you look at every... If you just go there once and see everybody's faces, they're miserable. And who knows? You just give them a little bit of power, Bruce, is what I'm trying to say. If you don't watch... If you are stupefied and an idiot... And just listen to what they tell you, then you're gonna get sterilized, killed by the GMO, the MSG, and your fucking Chinese. If they're gonna kill you with the water, with the with your uh, products that you buy, that baby talc powder now is giving cancer. Uh, they say that Johnson and Johnson, if you were diagnosed with ovarian cancer, you, they're they're having a massive lawsuit. It's a it's a big uh, class action, so you should contact whatever company is dealing with that. I mean, you know, the, 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 these are companies that are supposedly there that, that take care of you. But right there, you know, your health care and your food, you depend on these things. And they know you do, and they just... Right, and if that doesn't kill you, then the running man challenge, the LAPD, will, will kill you with that dance of theirs. Actually, they'll kill you while they're dancing, folks. And uh, it moves on to uh, number seven, Glenn Danzig. That's right, Glenn Danzig. I already had a house over here in New Jersey where the sprinklers actually sprinkled blood. I really heard that. Anyway, yeah. anyway and his he's, cousin Ozzy Osbourne, right? And, you know, he's returning to the Misfits as Ozzy is. Well, they're cousins. Missing. They're cousins. Okay, you're they're the expert on Illuminati Clyde. Nazi bloodline hunter. Speaking of Nazi hunters, the ADL says that, that you and I are Nazis because we're Nazi hunters. Hunters, but we're not really Nazi hunters, and it's not my fault. It's, it's Clyde Lewis's fault for putting a spell on us, and he opened up Pandora's box by, yeah, he sure by, did. by saying that he's going to send a Rosicrucian John D. freaking witchcraft Yeah, you remember that me. shit? Yeah, and I said, okay, was crazy. we're the wrong people to do that to. The night he did that, bring, I was like, oh... I see. Him. You had an, uh, an epiphany. I see him lot in your cards. And then he was like, Pfft. and then it went, that was it. It was just opened. You opened up your your uh, tarot, Torah tarot. Yeah, it was like they gave me your a power fucking pair of glasses. Immense. He really must have lit a candle, Bruce. Just no, like- you just put on the they live glasses that expose Hillary and Trump as reptilian alien people. Pfft. They just, you put on um. A magic spell, you know, he did some kind of a, uh, something. Anyway, Danzig is returning to the Misfits. Weren't you on the same label as Danzig? Yeah. Did we cover that once? Imagine music. But let me tell you, this guy is the first cousin of Ozzy Osbourne, and you could turn around, you could download, you could look at their pictures, they're both young, when they're both like around 20. Just go to NazicelebrityLookalike.com, <laughs> which kidding. is AKA Jaja's Facebook. And and you'll see it. But they're all. But they changed. A, they both got really ugly. They're both really kind of cute when they were younger. That's why they were stars because they kind of had a good look when they were younger. 
But somehow, I guess with their demonic Luciferian ways by chewing off rats' heads and shit like that and having sprinklers with blood coming off of it. And, Mother! You know, it just, it becomes, uh, whether it's an act or real, you know, maybe. But anyway, they're, they're first cousins. They're part of the Janklin family, and they, they, which is also based off of uh, Danks, Danks, which was in the Holocaust right out of uh, Latvia. There was an area which was right based off of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And in fact, that's when they killed the Jews. Like like my my relatives, so some of my relatives were like Latvian too. Oh, but let and, the people know that you're also opening up a, a new website that's uh, called NaziGenealogy.com. Where if you want to find mm-hmm. out any Liebensborn genealogy, yes. whether it be Glenn Danzig mm-hmm. or some schmuck. Car, or some schmuck car salesman, uh, just uh, go to NaziGenealogy.com and, yes. and Jaja will get the Nazi and his uh, bloodline and DNA. Yeah. DNA. Called, I don't know about the DNA. No, no, I'm going to call it EatMyNazi.com. <laughs> Do you Nazi.com? Or, or. Right. Anyway, that's the deal with those two. They're first cousins, and if you look at Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, the candy man, the, the child snatcher, he is a relative. You're saying that guy's a Janklin? He's a Janklin. Nazi Janklin. And that's why he looks like... Uh, th- Dear God. That, that nigga from freaking The Misfits. Anyway, I think it's cool that Danzig, that Danzig or Janklin, they should just rename the, the Misfits Janklin. No, they're fine. They're fine? And they like do a song about that, too. They talk about the Holocaust. And the Jews and killing Jews and candy and whatever. All they talk about is candy killing. Man. You don't know what oh, they're please. talking about. They just talk about killing, period. Hacking off heads and skulls and, I want your skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, that's pretty cool. We're going to get tickets. I'm going to get tickets to go see uh, Glenn Danzig at, at the Misfits. Yeah, but um, Ozzy Osbourne's daughter actually owns one of my photographs. Yep. She owns some of my photographs, my mosh pits. They're in her art collection. Yeah. And her father's now missing, apparently. Or maybe they found him. I don't know. Maybe he was walking one of his chihuahuas. Anyway, folks, uh, number six. You have uh, thousands of goat eyeball eaters are marching for uh, Palestinian return in Israel. What do you think of that? Protesters in Rahat. Members collectively swear to defend land and uphold the Palestinian rights. Can they even afford go eyeballs, these guys? Listen, what I saw in front of the Brooklyn Museum was so horrible. It was really upsetting because, like you said, they weren't even Palestinians. They were stupid freaking college students that think that they know better than everybody. And at the end of the day, if I was, I try to put myself in somebody else's other shoes, you know, and if I was Palestinian, I would be out, like, fucking, that's it, you want to push me, I'm out, goodbye, you know what I'm saying, I, it doesn't take a lot, you know, throw a nuke in my face, what am I going to do, I'm going to stand, this is my property, you nuke to me, I'm going to go after the, the government, you nuke me, you nuke me, you don't move, get the fuck out of their way, well, first of all, they're they nuking use, you, they get use, the fuck out of their way, they use their children as human shield. And all they spout is Nazi, Hitlerian, Third Reich propaganda, and it's you know they're not gonna they're not gonna leave until every Jew is dead type mantra. That's like their the Ramones chant, like their Gabba Gabba Hey is Gabba Gabba Hey. Let's kill some Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they really. Uh, I mean, those people are sick. A- well, they're sick. I mean, they teach their children. They teach their children martyrdom and hate from the very beginning. They got some like Islamic freaking ISIS version of, of Mickey Mouse, and then they have all these COINTELPRO provocateurs posing as. I mean, they had like white guys posing as Black Lives Matter. I mean, there were obvious FBI informants. I mean, they were in collaboration with all these Palestinian Lives Matter communists and just Black Lives Matter just raising hell in front of the Brooklyn Museum. I mean, I went there to see art, not fucking communism. Yeah, this is the deal, what I feel. Like if, like I was saying, if I was Palestinian, I would be out the door. I wouldn't even be... These people think that it's... Basically I, just disturbing the peace. They want to take they over. Doing. They feel like they were pushed out. Now, Scum. Do you think? do you think that if a bunch of Mexicans was, were, you know, which they are, are pushed out of... 
they say we want to be American. We want we don't want to be we don't want to be American. We are Mexicans, and we want to live in our land and be called Mexicans. You see, that's what the Palestinians are. That's like if Mexicans is like we say we're gonna we're gonna stay here and we're gonna take over California. This is like this is this would be like me agreeing. Well, no, first of all, I can I can speak on this because first of all, you're not from California, and the difference there is there's no similarities. I'm between, saying if the there's Mexicans no, did that. Can I finish my my fucking sentence here? There's no similarities between the Mexicans and the Palestinians. Right. First of all, the the Mexicans aren't throwing rockets from over the border. The CIA yes. trains the cartels That's to bring true. the drugs in there, so the Mexicans are are doing business. That's okay, true. The Palestinians are just savages. They're raging goat eyeball eaters, and the CIA is recruiting some of them as well. But most of them, they, there's no reason to fund money to go to war with these people because most of them can't even shoot a fucking AK-47 straight. Okay, there's no reason to have such a big budget to go to war with these people. Uh, you should use this money again to use it in your local schools to deter children from going to gangs. Not have this big oversized military budget and just expanding the military industrial complex into your know, country by country by country. You understand? And that's what leads me to believe that we're run by some type of reptilian ol oligarchy. <laughs> yeah. And seriously. And these stupid ass palace idiots, I mean, just go look at the fucking Egyptian hieroglyphics. There's lizards on there. I mean, they're no different than the freaking lizards. Aren't they in the the Bible, the Amalek, the lizard, or the, the giant tall people. I mean, who the hell's running this? The Vikings, the Nordics. Psychopathic New World Order. Well, you know, like I said, the, the Western society, Middle Eastern society, whatever society, Asian society, they got to keep some motherfuckers on no, the these, low These low bastards the from ball. the secret societies are feeding. I said they were psychic, vampiric beings they're feeding off the energy of our own children and even us and there are morals i mean our morals are out the window with these people i mean just look at number five here folks you have you have directives being given on transgender bathrooms by the obama administration it says here the obama administration is telling public schools what they must allow it must allow transgender students to use bathrooms and locker rooms consistent with their gender identity. And it's getting it's getting bad here in Brooklyn. We're walking down Burka Street here in Brooklyn. And it's nothing but Literally Burka Street. Full covered Burka women. And there's this like freaking kid that looks like Napoleon Dynamite who stuffed his shirt with socks walking around. He probably just came back from Target and he's walking around, he's a transgender. Believe that shit? No, he was really... I mean, a just, transgender amongst he, all he the He looked like Doug people. Reamer. That's right. the thing. He looked like Doug Reamer. And right, from uh, from basketball. That's funny. Yeah, and then he's like totally a dude with like red hair, like a big jawbone. He looked and, exactly like Doug Reamer, actually. <laughs> yeah, and then he had like these funny-ass like, size BC looking like fake titties that you said look like stuff with socks and then he was wearing these like baggy pants but not really baggy they were like just dragging off his booty a little bit and then he put his he walked with his big muscles and like not even that big he didn't even have muscles no, no, like no, a wimp no 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 but you know what I'm saying but his, but his muscle structure was man so he's like walking with his male body is what I'm saying and then like he walks into the the store very unfeminine like a boy like a little black kid and then sticks his hands in his pants and falling down with his hunch, you know, and his, like, lanky... I'm like, it was so masculine. When you say little black kid, you mean, like, some type of Brooklyn swagger? I mean, what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, Brooklyn that sounds, swag. That sounds racist. It's no, like I don't a mean racist it. man. No, I mean, like, racist a Brooklyn swag. freaking swag. Well, you could be Puerto Rican. So they do a little bit more of a dance. But, straight up, like... Anyway, look, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Enough of that. I understand why the Obama administration is so depraved. I mean, I saw a story the other day. Obama's actually following porn stars on his Twitter. He's over there following porn stars on his Twitter. That was on the New York Post, that yeah. Obama is following porn. That tells you where his mind is. It's in the gutter, folks. It's in the gutter when you can have this depraved administration issue directives to schools to tell our children, again, that they have to accept depravity. They have to accept 
uh, some hairy-ass vato going into the fucking woman's bathroom. I mean, it's outrageous. And if I ever see that happen in my time, folks, I will punch one of those fucking transgender homos right in the face. And by homo, I mean homo sapien. That's right, you PC bastards. Right? I take the fifth. She's pleading the fifth. What the hell? Hillary bought you off, didn't didn't she? I mean, the the Hillary News Network bought you off. Ah, Jaja takes the fifth. She takes the fifth as she is reluctant to realize that she herself has made it to my top ten list. And if you go to number four, this is top ten list number four. Uh, Jaja actually put together pictures of Vicente Fox as Mangla. Yeah, I think that's funny. Chiquito pero picoso, jalapeño, ha, 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 ha. And they proliferate this image that, like, I mean, the Mexican people are stupid because, look, just look at their, their leader. Look at the, he's obviously one of the stupidest, most low IQ people there is. I mean, you think that NYPD is bad? You think the LAPD is bad? What about Vicente Fox's PD over there? He'll send the federales over to your house and shit and just... Just hack you to death like a fucking salvatrucha. I mean, that, even though that guy flips the bird like a fruitcake, I mean, he, he's no slouch. So, I mean, I'm thinking, what, you think he could have Trump assassinated or something? Or he doesn't have, like, what, he's being run by the CIA. All these Mexican freaking drug cartels are run by the CIA. Who am I kidding, right, Bruce? Right. Well, who is Bruce kidding? Yeah, Bruce, I don't know, honey. Anyway, how'd you put together all those pictures so quick? I mean, you put Vicente Fox's face right next to Mangla, and he literally, they literally look <laughs> like boys from Brazil. Yeah, he does. I, mean, I can't even tell the difference. It was just a, one of these fluke things. Like, I'd seen his face before, but he looks like a little bit more like the Latin version of the uh, of Mangala. But, you know, Mangala did go to Argentina, so you and he was involved with all that birthing freaking Liebensborn fucking program. So don't fool yourself. Okay, just because this nigga was located in Mexico didn't mean that he didn't pop out a few, like, Latino-looking things mixed up, and then they, they just put him in there in charge. They put him in power. Yeah, I already traced Mengele's family. Not He didn't just come out of nowhere either. Okay, Mengele was part of the royalty, all right? I, I traced him to his family to the monarch. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Many of the Nazis were uh, monarchs. And the famous ones, and that's why they gave him the name and the power, power in the game. Speaking and, of famous Nazi monarchs, we're at... Number three, Hillary's new campaign slogan, you won't need free college because she's sending you to some Syrian hellhole to start World War IV. And you heard her, folks. The, the whole thing are lies about her emails being lies, I mean, about embezzling weapons, giving weapons to ISIS, who the U.S. runs on record. I mean, they created the Mujahideen, the Pentagon did. They created uh, Al-Qaeda. And now uh, Hamza al Osama Husseini is now running that. Hamza. <laughs> Hamza. Right? So now, I mean, it's it's just insanity, folks. The reptilians are putting all these uh, go eyeball eaters, these new go eyeball eaters in charge of Al Qaeda, but it's all U.S. run by the Pentagon. Anyway, That's right. I made up that slogan for Hillary that, you know, you won't need free college because she's sending you to World War Four. Mm. That should be her new uh, slogan. Instead of them advertising Hillary Clinton cam- ads, campaign ads on my talk stream live, they should advertise the slogan I just came up with for her, which is that all these pathetic Bernie Sanders Marxists that they're riling up for her, they should just they should just go and, and just get ready to si- get signed up by, for the draft. Because that's exactly where they're going. They're going to some Syrian hellhole to get blown up by ISIS, who we created. And that's another thing, oh, before I get into uh, number two here. Uh, you know, they spotted some UFO over um, an ISIS uh, campground. Again, UFOs, I mean, as soon as the Russians are over there, now their UFOs are, are popping up. It was probably just some Russian reverse-engineered aircraft. Exactly. That's exactly what coming out of Roswell, Phoenix, or or Virginia. It actually a UFO exploded over ISIS territory. And I'm looking at the article right here, disclose.tv. Uh, 
Intriguing security camera footage from Turkey shows a mysterious glowing object briefly descending through the air before seemingly exploding. So they probably had some go eyeball eater go la 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 and just send a freaking RPG and just blew it up. So there you have it, folks. Uh, the the score one for the, for the red, white, and blue, aka ISIS, who shot down some reverse engineered Nazi Russian aircraft. <laughs> I mean, again, more proof. I mean, you had. Uh, That news story we covered earlier where Putin claimed that Queen Elizabeth isn't human and you have the Russians flying UFOs over ISIS compounds, a.k.a. American compounds. I mean, it's it's just in your face. The tyranny's in your face. I mean, the Queen lets you know she wears so much Masonic regalia. I mean, if you look at her crown, she's got the Knights Templar cross up there. I mean, that's not the Umbrella Corporation cross from Resident Evil she's sporting, folks. That's... That's uh, what Friday the 13th is based off of, which is the Knights Templar. That's right. Knights in the round But table. again, she can't do much. She can't do much. The, everything that she does has to be ordained by the Pope. And speaking of the Pope... And the Pope himself doesn't do that. He's got a team around him. Look, the Jesuits that, are the that ones bastard, the That bastard is working on a one-world race. So who knows? They're trying to genetically engineer a one-world race of, of greys. Now, but, you know, before I get into uh, my, uh, the remaining of my top ten list, I mean, the Vatican, really, I want to cover this, the Vatican is really calling the kettle black, talking about they're against pedos, when, when they are pedos themselves, I mean, this Catholic empire, I mean, these kidnapping rings, these child kidnapping rings that are run by the UN are run by exactly who you just said, the Jesuits. Exactly. Are there female Jesuits? <laughs> well, they have they have that female order, right? It's that female secret society. Soon as uh, Belizean Grove. No, not just the Belizean Grove, but it's a uh, the uh, Eastern Star. Eastern Star, correct? The Eastern Star. Now, uh, number two, number two. <laughs> I said number two. Uh, anyway, folks, number two, Mayan civilization. Some Canadian teen seems to have uh, found uh, a new Mayan city. Again, some Canadian, really? Really? I mean, what, did some UFO kidnap this freaking kid and just take him to Mexico from Canada? He just, like, just beamed him up and dropped him off in some ancient city? Apparently, I don't know. I just think it's, it's a hoax, folks. I mean, some Canadian kid really is just going to come up with uh, a city. He's going to discover some city out of the blue. He just pulled out some city out of his ass. And it says he has said he matched 22 constellations to locations of 117 known Maya cities and found a potential new site in Mexico. Also, he used some type of sacred numerology or archaeology to find this new city. This is completely funded by the secret societies. Well, actually, where I didn't really look into this, so it's hard for me to, to make a judgment, but I know what they do is that they use the Google Earths and they use the their satellites, and they actually can see uh, layers and levels of, of... So what I'm saying, this kid didn't find anything. No. The, the Illuminati knew about this ancient Mayan city, and they just used some Canadian, like they used what? They threw out Justin Bieber, like, oh, just throw out another Canadian out there to put this news out. Oh, there's a new Mayan city, a Canadian kid found it. This sounds like total bullshit news, folks. Anyway, if anybody should be finding new Aztec and Maya civilizations, it should be me. Actually, I have a friend that's uh, in, in Chichen, Chichen Itza, Itza right now. And I was like, I was remembering, because we were talking about going to Tulum. Mm-hmm. And you go to Chichen Itza, and then you go to Palenque. More proof that humans blasted off from Earth. There's that, that pyramid of Pakal there, where he just blasted off. I mean, where did Pakal get that technology? Well, they got effigies of where he got that technology. Who gave him that technology? What, the Quetzalcoatl, that reptilian snake race? Again, it's proliferated in Egypt. It's proliferated in 
in Mexico? How did it just spread around all over the earth? Some things are intuitive. How does an ant know how to build an ant hill? I mean, in India, how it's does that monkey? Why does a monkey eat a banana? No matter wherever he fucking lives. So I'm saying, you know, it's hard to say. You know, what came first, the chicken or the? That's egg? funny that you say monkey and bananas because number one, Hitler dog. We had to talk about this. I mean, they're talking about hit this thing being a hate crime. Some dumbass was arrested and charged after he filmed his girlfriend's pug lifting his paw like like Adolf Hitler. Now, you had something specifically to say about this asshole, right? You said this guy was just like a complete joke, and it was a put-on. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's obviously uh, trained the dog, and uh, he's obviously, he's just... Yeah, he's a put on. He's I mean, he already, his, already, he's, he's like talking to already, he's talking to Alex Intel. Jones, like, like David like, Duke, Alex Jones, all the top anti semite bigots out and there, spo- and very well spoken, and like just a nobody, but he's all up in it. He was like all prepared for it, you know. You can anyway. tell these guys; <clears throat> they've been around for a while. So. Oh, a Hitler dog, right there. Now, I don't think it's a hate crime, folks, but this guy is definitely a psyop. It, it works like this. Okay, they hired this guy to try to get YouTubers arrested. And again, it's the blood-drinking reptilian Nazi queen that's related to Hillary that supposedly jailed this guy. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah right. They, they just said they jailed him. Really, they just gave him a, a just a freaking hotel stay at the freaking Big Ben, wherever. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I, I don't plan on going to England. It's Islamified now. What they got some go eyeball eating mayor now? Yeah, they do, right? Was he? He's gonna institute what Sharia law over there pretty soon. It's from India, my friend. And that's again. I was watching that uh, Amir Khan fight, and it, it proves. Okay, they may be able to hire mayors to Islamify London now, but they still can't fight in a boxing ring. I mean, I proved it to you. Been saying it for like three months or a month. I don't know how long that. This kid in Khan is going to be destroyed by this Mexican fighter, right. Cinnamon. And sure enough, what did Cinnamon do to this guy? He obliterated him. Right. And, that, and that's the same thing I'll do to any of you go eyeball-eating scum if you come across me. I'm telling you, you know, forget about a hate crime. I mean, it'll be a go eyeball-eating crime. I mean, that should be a crime. I mean. Who the hell eats goat eyeballs? I know, it's That's disgusting. disgusting. But what about the, the people? Saudi Arabian pigs. And they're getting ready for that 28 pages that are going to come out. What about the people that eat bull, them fried, in fried bulls, Rocky Mountain oysters? Bull balls? Bull balls. That's in España. They eat that in the uh, original Colorado. Illum- also. Illuminati, for the original Illuminati in Spain probably popularized that eating bull balls. Really? Yeah, fried bull balls. I you was, see what they do to those bulls in those bull fights? I mean... <laughs> It's terrible. I mean, some of these third world shitholes, I mean, it's not like elegant, like the Matador in, in Spain. I mean, some of these other places, like even in Mexico or South America, the the more, you know, downtrodden places, I mean, it's just animal cruelty what they do to that thing. Yeah, what's the difference of eating the bull's tongue or eating the bull's, the bull's balls? Dear God. I don't know anything about eating balls. I don't know what the hell's your problem. What about, what's the difference between tongue and balls or, you know, or pig's feet? I don't know. It's all gross to me. Pig's feet. That's definitely not kosher. I don't think so, Bruce. That's definitely not kosher. Pickled you know, pig's yo, feet. Yo, we're going to be in L.A. pretty soon. You might as well tell them that we're going to be in L.A. pretty soon. That's why I got my, my Hollywood glasses on. And I was telling you, because I'm looking at this message right here, I was telling you about what we could eat. And I was saying, oh, there's this joint off of uh, Bronson, Tommy's, where they sell, like, you know, chili burgers and stuff. You know what I saw on the news the other day? Another PSYOP. Some some douchebag climbing the giant KTLA tower. Right in front of that place that I told you we were going to go eat at if we are in L.A. Uh, Tommy's Wow. Burger. See what I mean? It's just insanity. And you know what? This should have been the top ten list. This should... This story should have been the top ten list, definitely. Indy, Indian buddy buddy for Trump, my friend. You believe this shit? There's some Hindu going around uh, saying that he's God, God for blessing Trump. 
What the hell? Listen to this story. Indians for Trump call on Hindu God for blessing Trump? This is... This is fucking ridiculous, my friend. Oh, my God. So, they, what, what do they want? They want Shiva to uh, bless Trump, my friend? Vishnu, my friend. Oh, my God. Didn't we see her at the Brooklyn Museum? They had Vishnu and Shiva. I mean, I'm telling you, the Brooklyn Museum is a conglomerate of nothing but Illuminati art and just it installations. It is. And fantasy. And, like... Elohim and alien portrayals that day. Of their own And then the agit prop, the agit prop was Cointelpro, Pro, Palestinian. Yeah. I mean, we even ran into a, a, a Sandy Hook crisis actor there walking around with a shirt that said. Two of them, it was a crippled gun, one. Guns destroy lives. And I confronted this person and basically scared the shit out of him and told him, hey, you know, Sandy Hook is a fucking false flag hoax. Yeah, you know, but I had to pull Ander- him away Anderson from Pooper Scooper Green screamed the whole thing, you dumbass. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. But um, the whole thing about that that, exhi- um, that exhibit was that, in fact, the artists themselves, none of them were Jewish. And all of them, Stephen Shore, uh, uh, Thomas Struth, definitely German. I mean, these guys were straight up fucking German. And they were taking pictures of... Israel, and then the, right. the motherfuckers outside were screaming, It's not Israel, it's Palestine! <laughs> you hate us! And meanwhile, they're... That was ju- funny, because you took one of their flyers and you ripped it up in one of their faces, and I went up to one of the, the, head, <laughs> the heads that were probably like FBI informants, and I said right in front of his face that I said, You know, I came here to see art, not communism, you fuck. And you saw how they moved right out of our way? Yeah, I gave they didn't him, want any. I gave him like a blank Tommy stare and just any. ripped it up like mechanically. Like what the fuck? Like oh, to slap the taste out of that communist mouth. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? It's just ridiculous. I don't. I feel bad for people, and it's not. Don't get me wrong. I feel terrible for these people. They got pushed off their land. I'm getting pushed out of my fucking land too right now. You understand? My whole family been in New York. I feel like I'm being fucking nuked out of it. Oh, okay, but I, I, you know. Well, only your father, rest in peace, is going to remain here in New York now. You know, right? My grandfather's and right, blah, 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 right. Okay, so well, whatever. They, they're probably upset too that their <laughs> uh, land is being radiated, right? I mean, it's a spiritual thing. It's spiritual warfare. That's what I'm saying. I mean, are they reptilians? Are they some type of metaphysical being? I mean, we know the urban legend states that these these beings hail from Pleiades, and then in religious art, you have. Popes even bowing down to these these figures, these reptile demon looking figures. I mean it's downright scary almost. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know, Bruce. I think it's an easy way out, but in the end we are uh dealing with a lot of yeah, how did they get all their technology? I mean the Raytheon and all these places, right? I mean how did they how did they reverse engineer the this craft that we have. I mean, where did it come from? They didn't reverse engineer this craft. They reverse they engineered everything. something else to create you know what? the planes that we fly on today and the cars that we drive and even bulletproof vests and the fiber optics and just the internet alone, the grid. I mean it's amazing the technology that we have. Jesuit spies have been around in infiltrating cultures Stealing people's secrets forever. I personally have come in touch with, personally, at least three or four Jesuits that have stolen massive amounts of material wow. from me. Okay? They purport, purport to be your friend. They, you know, get co- maybe Maybe even more. Okay? Maybe even more. I've had so much stuff that was lifted, like physical things, like good sketch pads, like just shit like, you know, idea stuff work, you know, and it all links back to uh, people that could have definitely been put around there, planted around me because I was a conceptual artist that creative, you know, worth of something, you know, maybe to them with, with my ideas, uh, the cutting edge, and they were able to fuel a lot of their businesses through my concepts. You know, we were talking about the Hubble spacecraft, I heard that, but I wanted to reiterate, I talked about uh, Hubble picking up images it wasn't some type of meteor. It was some type of spiral snowflake. This uh, a new Hubble Space Telescope image reveals spiral galaxy NGC sixty eight fourteen. 
So there you have it. A new galaxy has been uncovered. I think this world has millions and millions and millions of galaxies. So. And there was a comet also. Comet whips up whirling debris in close-up Hubble telescope view. Wow. And again, you were talking about Jesuits. That's why I wanted to bring up this new telescope because they have a telescope entitled Lucifer. And again, we see this, the Illuminati proliferate their agenda combining you know, African culture, Mexican culture, Asian culture, Indian culture, and you see it proliferated at places like the Brooklyn Museum, where they give you the clues. Yeah, jibs and drabs of the clues. They're all about. Yeah, they don't really, and then they tell you it's something else. These are the else people they, behind the Hubble telescope. <clears throat> of course. Yeah, well, we knew somebody that worked on the Lucifer uh, scope itself, telescope. Uh, one of our old radio stations, right? Yeah, and that was quite interesting. And uh, but yeah, that's I don't know. They try to. They have a, a in the Vatican. They have a demonologist. That's the thing. They, how are you having a demonologist that works for the Vatican? Well, we covered it last week. The Vatican uh, in Spain. Now the Vatican has ordained that they give courses in exorcism. Because that's really the only thing that the Jesuits have going for them, that they can go in there and use the Rituale Romanum and exercise demons, because they themselves know the seven, the book of 72 demons. They know how to summon these 72 demons. These are a bunch of, of Masons. That's what the Masons are all about, is figuring out how to control these dark demons these, that these Egyptian sages warned us about. I mean, this jinn. Again, where do the jinn come from? Who are the jinn? Exactly. Yeah. And again, the Elohim, the Jim, the the Jin, the Watchers. Okay, they're who are they? The star beings, the you know the the star children, the children of the stars. Who are these people? How did we get the seven forty sevens and the Boeings that we that we fly in today? It's been reverse engineered and given to man by a higher being. But, you know, you're also underestimating man itself. I'm not underestimating human ingenuity at all because they're able to reverse engineer this. Thing. What I'm trying to say is that they have Jesuits that have infiltrated the world, every culture, every... You have Einstein that was working at the copyright office. You get motherfuckers like infiltrators. He was stealing patents. Yeah, and then he they're going to tell you, tell you that Einstein was a this, that, and the other thing. And meanwhile, there was probably some other motherfucker Jew, like the old black guy that they didn't want you to know about. Right, but, I mean, they totally blacklisted that person, that said person, whoever it could be, but more than likely a, a Tesla, whoever they didn't want. In their way. Something like that, either like a, a Chinese guy, Indian guy, or a non-Mason, or something like, whatever it is, somebody that wasn't a Mason or part of their their group at the time, you know? And but you know, more and more, people are actually starting to put on the they live glasses on. They're seeing these Amalek Nazi reptilians for what they are, and even the FBI has to quietly start declassifying things, as we have here, secret files attesting... Hitler fled to Argentina in 1945 are exposed. Now this is this is inside baseball here. I mean it was the FBI themselves that arranged for those underwater submarines to to take Hitler to Argentina. Yeah, I don't know if they the I don't know bunker. whatever submarines uh flights they also ran Boeing, they could they could have put a wig on him and said they were like a sick patient. I don't know. They could have done anything. And they'll tell you one thing and they did another thing. Whatever gets released is probably, it was probably the real stuff that happened is like, you know, four, four levels under a vault. You, 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 but yeah, but the fact is, is that it doesn't matter how, it just matters that he did get, get there and he was alive and he was known to be in Florianopolis in the, Puerto Alegre area. Uh, wow. Uh, it states here, newly declassified FBI documents prove that the government knew Hitler was alive and well and living in the Andes Mountain. Andes Mountain, they say that. They say Argentina. And then they say he also he was in the United States. So, I mean, sure, he was going to Rusty Canyon also as well. So, it doesn't matter. He probably had several places, you know, bouncing around. You know, he's got to leave his ground somehow. And they had, you know, whatever. That's what they did to this guy. But at the end of the day, 
Uh, how he many? was just a tomato. Yeah. It was the German financiers right. that were behind the, the Third Reich, that created the Fourth Reich that we know as the United States of today. Yeah, here's another article I find interesting. Did the Nazis build a secret Antarctic base? Now, all clues point to yes. I mean, if you see the, the again, the predictive programming in Hollywood, you see in Transformers, you see the Hoover Dam. It's like an underground secret alien technology being withheld in there. I mean, Megatron was considered to be alien technology. And then... Again, what he was originally where? In Antarctica. And there was Nazis out in Antarctica. And that's how that movie starts. I mean, it's paying homage to the fact that the Nazis really did build a secret Antarctic base. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, I believe that. They said the Rothschilds had invested invest, interest in our Antarctica and they had the vault and the uh, the vault. The seed, this, it's been around for years. It was on... Uh, Absolutely. You can read about it. It's like... A fact. They just have. They took the heirloom seeds of everything, every living category on the planet they could locate, sent their origin, their seed to Antarctica, and they have it frozen in a uh, in a frozen seed vault. Again, more proof that they there is an repopulate. alien reptilian Nazi oligarchy behind it all. Now, what do you think of this, folks? You have NSA mind readers. You think of that? NSA, yeah, 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 right. Yeah, NSA yeah, yeah. psychic. NSA. Ha! NSA psychic spy programs. And guess what? The CIA is saying that it's true. It really is true. I mean, you buy this. I mean, this is just a slap in the face to any awake, aware American who is aware of their civil liberties. I mean, these people, of course, they can claim to be fucking fortune tellers now. I mean, not only can they tap your phone, but they can, like, they listen in. They and can and listen into your conversations through your, your iPhone, your iPad, your iTouch just as easily as you can listen to the Bruce Montello show on the I, iPhone, the yeah, iPad, Yeah, they just the open iTouch. the ports up. They know exactly. Oh, they have their also the audio with the with this Google satellites and the Google sound or the Facebook or, you know, just try shutting shit off. It ain't going to happen. Well, the government does have psychic mind programs. Oh, yeah. Psychic. I had a mind fuck you. Right. I mean, they had Project <laughs> Scanate. That was an original project where they had a, basically remote viewers. I mean, the Army had a remote viewing program. The Russians basically started that. But whatever the Russians can't finish off, basically America, who has the big budget, ends up taking over that. But that, that's one thing I wanted to cover real quick, is that the NSA thinks you're, you're that gullible. They don't They don't think you have a pair of the They Live glasses on, folks. And if you want a pair of those They Live glasses, just be sure to contact us at the Bruce Montalvo Show at gmail.com, at Bruce Montalvo at Twitter, at Jaja at Twitter. And if you, give us, if you give us a contribution at uh, our PayPal, at the Bruce Montalvo Show at gmail.com, then We'll refer you to eSpyMall.com where you could probably get those They Live glasses and any type of spy gadgets, spy gears. If you use coupon code BRUCENY, you'll save 10% at eSpyMall.com. But most importantly, tell them how to support the show directly, which is through our handmade Make America Great Again by Making, Not Taking Again jewelry. Yeah, well, right now we have a, a fort. We have a four-day special sale, 65% off, right now at a Conceptual Subculture. So that's as Etsy.com slash shop slash Conceptual Subculture. It's conceptual, C-O-N-C-E-P-T-U-A-L, Subculture, S-U-B-C-U-L-T-U-R-E. Conceptual Subculture, 65% off. Check out the last of what we got right now. It's like, I don't know, I got 120 things left or something. Yeah, but um, that's because we're going to re-up soon. But get it while it's hot. Get it while it's cheap. Grab it. You know what I'm saying? And um, probably give you an extra gift on top of that. You know, thanks a lot. But doesn't that really grind your gears? I mean, NSA psychics? NSA fortune tellers? Uh Uh-huh. I mean, what are they going to come up with next? They are... Fucking liars and people, it just goes to show you that people are really, really dumb. 
I mean, really dumb. I mean, if they can't see that Trump and Hillary are part of the same bipartisan big government establishment, then there's no hope for you people. I mean, really, I mean, I, I got a big, fat fucking bone to pick with both Hillary and Trump. I, I'm telling you, folks, I mean, I'm not picking either one of them. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to vote because like that commie bastard Stalin said, it doesn't matter who votes. It's the Nazi Amalekian reptilians in the back room that are counting the votes. They're the ones that decide. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They're not picking Trump. And all these Trump supporters are basically smoking the brains from their head. It's really other. I mean, they're some of the most moronic, just imbecilic idiots out there. It's unbelievable. But the libtards that support Hillary Clinton are are probably worse. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, folks. I mean, just stupid idiots. That's what you have. You just have stupid idiots. And I'm really sick and tired of trying to tell the people to wake up. I mean, week after week after week. I mean, I'm here telling them that they have Nazi psychic spy programs. And, you know, I'm going out of my way exposing the Brotherhood of the Snake and the alien Elohim Jinn. I mean... These people just think it's a stand-up comic routine. I mean, what do you want me to tell you? That George Lopez is probably related to Abbas? Yeah. They just want the funny. They want George Lopez looks like a fucking Bangladeshi motherfucker. (laughs) And he might as well be Abbas's fucking cousin, that defanged fuck Abbas. And all these people are put into place to hate on you. Like, like, here's a Mexican, make him hate on him. Who's the next one to hate on a... Mexican. Who's the next one to hate on a black? You know, who's the next inside of the hate? You know, what what did Beyonce do? Whatever what the fuck she is. She caused, caused chaos. What is uh, Lopez do? Because chaos and makes you hate Mexicans. What does uh, Sandler do? Makes you hate, you know, makes fun of Jews. It's just like giving and shit. You gotta figure that they ain't gonna use one of their... And I people. told those Palestinian Lives Matter to their face when I was over at the Brooklyn Museum. I told them to their face along with all the Sandy Hook crisis actors there, said that Hamas is over there. They're over there, Hamas sympathizers. They're over there building $3 million tunnels. Who helped them build those $3 million tunnels? It was Hillary Clinton and her and the Obama administration and that corrupt cabal that's probably run by reptilians that built those Hamas terror tunnels. Why were those terror tunnels built? So they could kill Jews. So I, you could tell that to all the palace idiot lives matter and communist lives matter and all those idiots that were disrupting a perfectly good art show that day at the Brooklyn Museum. They were part of the art show. That's what Agit Prop is. It's political-based artwork. So they themselves were part of the Agit Prop show. I mean, don't these idiots they realize? Don't these idiots realize that even the Iraqi media is saying that the U.S. created ISIS? Well, they don't even know that CIA is, um, the C- CNN is CIA, you know what I'm saying? They don't even know that um, Al-Qaeda was created by the CIA, on the record. They don't even know that um, Hezbollah and Hamas was, was developed by the IDF and, you know, Israel and Mossad, you know what I'm saying? So they don't even know that shit, so what do I expect? I just expect idiots that want to watch idiot boxes and not even think about things because it's too complicated to think that your government doesn't love you. So That's what it is. The we- the TV is a weaponized LCD freaking weapon. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. It's a weapon. It's uh, transmitting ELF waves directly at you. You know, they're controlling your brain waves. Speaking of controlling people's brain waves and some type of MK Ultra, you have... Uh, Caitlyn Gender, Caitlyn Gender news now, trendy news. Uh, Caitlyn Gender says Faith could make it a man again. What do you think again? It wants to be a man. It mm-hmm. emphasis on it wants Leave to Caitlin be a man. Leave Caitlyn alone. Oh God! What are you that Perez Hilton thing? Listen, he's just an actor. Just an actor. You know that bastard killed somebody, Janine. Jack I don't Jack. know what happened. I didn't see the accident. He ran somebody over. He did you see plowed the accident? Somebody. Oh, you're saying that was staged? It's a home? Did you see the accident, Bruce? How much did he pay you? No. Or it pay you? Did you see the accident? You cannot incriminate a person if he was not declared guilty of a crime. Look, this is all just part 
of the MK Ultra breaking down. Okay, Caitlin wants to be Bruce again. Look, there's only one Bruce, and that's Bruce Montalvo, Bruce Almighty, El Gran Bruce, which is me. If he wasn't chopping he off his I, cock, I am him. If, if he oh. wasn't chopping off his cock anymore, so then what was the point? He just so he can stuff his titties with socks and. As long as he doesn't... Yeah, just like that fucktard we saw over on Berka Street right there the in Brooklyn. We saw some guy that had socks. The... Yeah. He could stuff socks into his freaking chest. It was What's unbelievable. The He's still acting like a guy, just a gay guy. And maybe not even a gay guy because there's guys that dress as girls that still, that still go with girls. So, I don't know. Everybody's just a different shade every day, you know. Uh, to each his own. Teach That's his why own. you should never get a sex change operation. And he just proved it. Why you shouldn't? Because you could renege on your own fucking stupidity for changing what or, God gave you, or run people over to death. You don't know that. Actually, I agree with that. What was that North Carolina bill? There's some bill out there that says that. Look, if you're a guy, you go piss in the guy's bathroom. If you're a chick, you go take a piss in the chick's bathroom. I mean, it's common sense. You can't let these lavender club Illuminati gay mafia take over. I mean, you really got to kick their ass right out of Congress. You, you, you got to go to. I mean, your local freaking uh, just, uh, just libertarian meetings and try to set up some type of just, you know, rally against these people. Yeah. Because yeah. other than that, you're going to have atheists and Satanists running to, to to get your vote. I mean, that's actually true here on t in the Time magazine, time.com. It states he's an atheist and a Satanist and he wants your vote. Uh, there's some political candidate now named Steve Hill, a Satanist. Uh-huh. And he's a black Satanist, <laughs> an atheist. How far do you think that guy's going to go? He's going to go far. Uh, uh, Time.com. A black satanic atheist running for president. Wow, you know, actually, I'm I'm president now. I went to the Brooklyn Museum and somehow I became president of the United States. You notice <laughs> that? I am a crook. <laughs> that, was, that was fun, actually. And, you know, I didn't know that the president in his martial law underground mini bar slash bunker had minor threat in there. He had, like, some punk rock on vinyl and, like, a lot of good drink. You know, like, the, the best that the president of the United States could drink. And that was fun. That was a good exhibit. I liked that exhibit. They have, like, boom boxes, solar-powered boom boxes. I mean, Tom Sachs. And as soon as you walk into the Brooklyn the Museum, owls, there's uh, a giant Lilith. Two yeah. Liliths. Two owls. Two owls. They've been there. And that, again, that's in, indicative of ISIS worship. Uh-huh. Everywhere you walk. And the two owls. That's why it's no surprise to me that they have an atheist and a Satanist who's black running to be president of the United States. I don't mm -hmm. know. The president's... Time.com says it. You got to believe it, right, folks? It's in the idiot box. Right? We're covering insane news now as the show's winding down. That's that's what we do, folks. We break down what's going on out there, the, the matrix of information and disinformation. We, we let you know that there could be some type of alien elite combine out there. What do you, do you believe they're out there, Jimmy? No. They, they are out there? No, I believe that there's a secret society that has money, that controls things, and they give it within their families, and they keep the power, and they're monarch, and that's it. You don't think there's little green no. men out there no. that we I got some that the of the person... aircraft from and reverse engineered it? Bruce, I believe some of the people telling the stories are part of the fucking monarchs. Okay, t covering, just like the Nazis tell stories to cover up Look, stories. I'm not on the side of, of Stitchin here, who is a CIA agent. I'm not trying to push that disinformation. I mean, I'm pushing relevant facts. I mean, if you go to Chichen Itza, if you go to Palenque, if you go to China now, you see some of the new pyramids that were unearthed there, and this Egyptian archaeology that, that was found in China and then you go to Egypt and you see these snake overlords ruling over the ancient Egyptians and the Egyptian gods and now they're always lizards or serpents seem to be surrounding them. Well, let me tell you something about serpents. They are one of the oldest, oldest things that living creatures on the planet. They say that, you know, a, a turtle, an alligator, they, they, they think has, can live forever. They don't even have a lifespan on it, actually. They try to give you an estimate, but in fact, they have the longest. So reptiles themselves 
have this like ever present and they probably marked them back in the day, you know, and they just live forever. Like this was my grandfather's alligator. This was my great, 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 great grandfather's alligator. This is my great, 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 great grandfather's alligator. What the fuck is this still doing Speaking here? Speaking of great, you know great, saying? great, great grandfathers, I'm about to sound like, like Bernie or George Norrie, freaking funeral to funeral, freaking AM. Listen to this. Brooklyn's Susanna Mushat Jones, oldest person, dies at age 116. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> oh, really? 116, this lady lives. I'm looking at this news right now. It's nice. That's right it's great. It's great to the bill. Here's more insane news. Head transplant ops will work, but the side effects could be the worst form of insanity ever. So think about that. If you and I went, we got a, a head transplant, and they put your head on my head, we would go insane. Okay, yes. But First of all, at- I would go insane because I would have such great tatas at my disposal. Listen, Bruce. <laughs> what's up with that minister with the God is my hero shirt? And, like, doesn't, doesn't he look like uh, General uh, um, Lee? We got the girl. They, they found this guy. He took the... He took a, the uncle took his niece. Doesn't he look like a psyop? And like, what is this story you're referring to? It's I see CNN, it on CNN. You know, it's been around all day. You know about some. Uncle, apparently, Justin some Bieber's. Uncle apparently, Justin Bieber's MK Ultra is breaking down as well. It yeah, says we, that on CNN. Tennessee that's, man. That's breaking news. But you have a story here: Tennessee men who find Carly and Carly like, Tent Trent. Trent. Are cheered as heroes. What is this? What type of disinfo is this? Yeah, it's just more. This isn't insane news. You want insane news, folks? Uh, You know, they're signing up to take driverless cars out for a spin in London now. Now, this goes exactly what the New World Order wants. They want to take away your right to drive your own vehicle and now stuff you in some newfangled fucking uh, driving machine that can spy on you. Look, he's showing his eyes. See? This is what's going on a few minutes ago on uh, 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 CNN. They, oh. They're showing Bieber, showing his one eye. Oh, he's doing his the... Photo, his his, his eye can sign. be made out to his Instagram feed. Uh, by, he was with his tattoo. Uh, represents the journey to... He said it represents his journey in finding his purpose with yeah, God. Yeah, he's getting all sorts of Jesuit tattoos. His, his MK Ultra is breaking down. He literally has owls... Tattooed on him, right? I mean, a that's crown, indicative of Lilith. Some numbers uh, Monarchy, and shit. masonry tattoos. American, native. Anyway, it's just getting insane. That's it's exactly what this oh, alien, got, he, elite, reptilian Anunnaki are proliferating, folks. I mean, just look at I mean, the same people that worship this idiot Bieber are probably the same teens that live-streamed their sex acts on Facebook. I mean, this is shocking, folks. This, this is the, the Justin Bieber uh, freaking uh, society here where these Milwaukee teens live stream sex acts on Facebook. The same, the same type of people that would listen to this idiot. Exactly, exactly. I mean, you see the degradation of society, and again, this guy's being pushed by, by what? By who? By, by reptilians. Sony, yeah, by all the people that want As a matter of fact, bag his bag. eye changed. And that was one of the biggest videos that, you ever had. that I had on Before It's News. It was like, like, like 68,000 hits, 68, oh, hits wow. on Before It's News. And it, it was just incredible, folks. It's just, it proves. Yeah, it proves uh, it. Reptilian overlords. I mean, they, but they, I wouldn't, they choose what pop stars you listen to. They choose what presidents you elect, and you people need to put on the fucking glasses. Seriously. That's all right if they don't. You know what? Ignorance is bliss. So is that what they do in Fort Bliss over in El Paso? Is it? Is it? Do they sit there? I don't and know try about El Paso. Some... The only thing I had in El Paso was a Whataburger and, and a steak. That's all I know about El Paso. But maybe they're creating a psyop for uh, bliss. For bliss. Bliss. Create social utopians for to create bliss in the world to keep them dumb and ignorant. And that Look, way they don't want any bliss them. in this world. Look, we're we're just about out of time, folks. They don't want any bliss in this world. That's why they arrest uh, the guy that gave free hugs now. Because now even a guy that gave free hugs 
in Times Square is now attacking people. That's the thing. There's some type of reptilian aura that is just taking over people metaphysically. I mean, Donald Trump, you put the, the glasses on, you'll see that he's a freaking goddamn snake. And you'll see the same thing with that vampiric wench, Hillary Clinton. Mm. Okay. And, and with that, folks, we are out of time. Shabbat Thank you for shalom. listening to the Bruce Montalvo Show. Remember, you can listen to us on iTunes and on Talk Stream Live every Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Sayonara. Peace. And stay away from those goddamn lizards. They're everywhere. Aloha.